As of late, I've had some comments about how to fix the add-on manager uh, when people go to add-on an external workbench from tools and add-on manager. All that seems to be coming up here is 3D printing tools. And that's great if you want to install 3D printing tools, but if you wish to install anything else, that's a problem. This is not FreeCAD's fault. This apparently is due to GitHub changing uh, something about their platform and making the add-on manager not work properly. I believe this is resolved in 0.19. I haven't looked into it, but if you do need to install something and your 0.19 is coming up with only 3D printing tools, which when I opened 0.19 on my computer, I was only seeing 3D printing tools, then here is a way around it in Windows. And then I'm going to do Linux. So the first thing, um, let's close this, right? So we, we can't actually use the add-on manager, but working around this is not bad at all. First off, I'll go to the GitHub of whatever workbench I wish to install. In this case, I'll be doing the sheet metal workbench, and this was as simple as just typing in FreeCAD sheet metal workbench GitHub, and it came right up. And I've been able to find every workbench I've wanted with that simple method. So find the GitHub for whatever um, FreeCAD sheet metal thing that you want to uh, work on. And hey, what do you know? That's my video. <laughs> I am really flattered that somebody thought that um, it would go well there. So thank you to whoever put that video there. Uh, so we want to uh, go to this code here and download zip. And I'll save file. And now looking from my downloads folder, I have my sheet metal master here. I'm going to extract all. Right, and now if I open up this folder, I have a folder called Sheet Metal Master, and then I have all the things in here for the Sheet Metal Workbench. So I'm just going to stick around in my Sheet Metal Master folder here. And now I want to access another part of my folder structure. I'm going to go to my local disk, C drive, right, that C colon enter. And we're going to say users, whatever your username is. And then there's a hidden folder, right, so I'm going to type in um, my slash and we'll say app data appdata and then we're going to go to roaming freecad and then a folder called mod mod now if you don't have this folder create a new folder called mod right with a capital m and uh, inside of here i take my extracted uh, folder that I just did extract all on and I move my sheet metal workbench to here and then I'm done. Now I have the sheet metal workbench in FreeCAD. So if I go back to FreeCAD you'll see I don't have my sheet metal workbench. I close FreeCAD. I restart FreeCAD and then I go to my workbench and sheet metal shows up. Right, So that's how you add workbenches without the add-on manager. It's really not bad. Let's do the same thing in Linux. Here we are in Linux now, and in Linux it is even easier than Windows because Linux is king. So, well, let's get started by opening up the terminal, Control-Alt-T, and I'll bring it over here. And the first line of code that I want to enter is sudo apt-get install. I'll put this code in the description. If I forget, somebody remind me. And I'll hit enter, and of course, password. And this has already been installed on my machine, so clearly nothing has happened. But you'll have a, a small installed there. Then we're going to make a new directory, right? We're going to say make directory dot freecad mod. I'll put that in the description too. But I've already made that directory, so I won't hit enter. And then we want to change directory to go in there. So we enter that to change into our new directory. I'll hit enter. In this case, I would like to now install the, uh, oh, how about the uh, exploded assembly workbench? So here's the, here's the GitHub of the exploded assembly workbench. I'll come up here and grab the URL.
And uh, now I'm going to say G-I-T-C-L-O-N-E. And then I simply paste in with Control Shift V the URL of the GitHub workbench that I wish to install. You can see, as of right now, I do not have the exploded assembly workbench installed. So going back to the terminal, I hit enter. And uh, now we have the exploded assembly workbench. So I'm going to close FreeCAD. I'm going to reopen it. And there is exploded assembly. And we have all the stuff that we need. So in FreeCAD, it's even easier. Or, sorry, in Ubuntu Linux, I'm running Ubuntu 18.04 right now. It's even easier. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. If you're running an Apple machine, I'm terribly sorry. I've used an Apple uh, one time 15 years ago. <laughs> so you're on your own. Um, good luck, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.